Hi there, my name is Kim. I'm the chef from Craig Schickerfredo. To keep healthy and good products, to keep away from too much fake food and make it fresh. In the morning they need their proteins and then after, after working hard they need their carbohydrates. Over the, the years that I have done this, uh, as cyclists have to be careful that they don't try to follow all new nutrition ideas. If you change every time something changes, they, they will get confused. If I'm not in a race and I'm not all, in all races, the riders are sometimes waiting 10, 15, 20 minutes for the food. And what do they do then? They eat bread and butter. So when the right food arrives, they're not that hungry, which means they eat not that much of the right stuff. And then they're hungry again at 10 o'clock and go to the food room at the hotel. So it's basically to, to make sure that they have some kind of decent food on time. They are interested and they ask for recipes, but we also help each other. They also have ideas for me. I actually ask the riders in the morning, what do we want to eat tonight? Within my terms, within what I can do. The family, you miss your family. When you do the Grand Tours, it's away from home for 28 days. So there you pay a little price, but hey, I travel 150, 160 days a year, so I'm also at home 200 days a year and spoiling my kids and my wife. <laughs> I just saw some fresh snails in a shop in, uh, in Switzerland in my first race and Jens Voigt was there. I thought, yeah, this would be a pretty good idea and nutrition-wise it also have good protein, so I thought, why not? <laughs> I made a nice stew with a lot of fresh vegetables and kale and I served it and he ate it and he was a little, because it, it can get a little rubberish. The other guys already ate it and they were loving it uh, with garlic and parsley and but Jen was like, did I just eat snails? I hate snails. Yeah, but you just ate them. Yeah, but never do this again, he said. <laughs> Popovic had a really big crash and he asked me personally to pick him up, maybe because he knew that I was driving past a gas station to pick up two beers. <laughs> so when I got him at the hospital, into the car, we drove like five minutes, I just took the beer. I gave it to him, he was kaput, he had broken hip, some with the elbow, and, and he, had he was smashed all over. He was done racing that day, obvious, so he had a beer. And then we stopped 10 k's after because we had a television in the car, so we saw the last of the race. And then Fabian won again, and Popo was really emotional. Said, ah, why? I was not there to help him. And, oh, come on, you did yours. That was a really... And then we had another beer. <laughs> When I'm not in the kitchen, I, I try to get out on the road also and to be able to watch it on television is maybe sometimes easier, but to be in a race is to be in the middle of everything. 